Okay guys, um, I've been asked a question about one of my cars that no longer exists. Uh, somebody wants to know how much weight it can carry. So what I'm going to do, I've still got the old uh, cardboard chassis that I made. It's quite thick cardboard it's made from and in fact it's double thickness along the edges here. So I think it will actually take quite a bit of weight anyway. So, to be able to answer the question, I'm going to have to rebuild it. Um, I've got some garden canes, I've got some straws, I've got some CDs, I've got some sticky tape. So I'll see if I can recreate it um, as close as I can to the original car. First thing I need is some straws that will go over these canes. Okay. I think these canes are slightly larger than the ones I used on the original model, but I'm going to use them anyway. I need enough straws that when you bunch them together, they fit right inside of there. I can't remember how many I need. That actually looks like the right number. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks like eight. Um, I think I'll cut the, um, the bendy bits off these. <coughs> that doesn't help. Right. As you can tell, I'm rushing a little bit. Uh, I've actually got to go out soon. But we'll have a go at this, see how quickly we can make it. There we go, that's pushing the straws through there. General idea. Not very neat. It's going to sit in the middle there somewhere, and it's going to have that going through the middle straw. Okay. Hot glue gun is on. So we add a bit of hot glue around the edge. Dry, cool down. Okay, another eight of these. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight straws.
down. Hopefully that one's cool. I'll just check I'm still videoing. Yeah, got two minutes left on the video, it says. On the original version, I wrapped some cardboard round here. I haven't got any cardboard to hang, so I'm just going to wrap tape round. This is just to strengthen the center, because I need to poke a little wooden peg into it to grip the rubber band. Okay, I need to poke a hole in there. Again. Okay, that's the basic build. Uh, how's the timer going? One minute forty five seconds left on that video. There. Just about long enough. Just going to run out of time on the video, so we'll stop it there and restart it. Okay. up the sticky tape on both ends. Okay, that's our basic car. Now on the original car, I'm pretty sure that I'd put some big outriggers on the front here to extend the length of the rubber band. Uh, just for the check of, or for the art to answer the question what weight this will carry, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put a short rubber band on. For which I need a paper clip. Okay, found a paper clip. Stick it there somewhere. Double that up. Okay, cut that off a bit shorter. Okay, now we need some rubber bands. So I need to dig those out. Let's turn the video off again while I do that.
OK, now for the test. It's a little bit dark in my kitchen at the moment, but uh, I've measured out... That's actually on 2 metres. I don't know if that's clear, but it is. I've put five tins on top of the car. So let's see if we can get this positioned right. So we are, let's just move that again, we're on the line, so let's see if we can do, that's about five pounds in weight. go. Front wheels have crossed the two metre mark. So that's that car carrying, that's five pounds in weight for two metres. So I expect it to carry less weight further or if I increase the number of rubber bands it might pull a bit more weight. Although that was actually beginning to bend the axle a bit with that much on there. But I hope that answers the question. So that car, I've just made it carry five pounds for two meters. I'll just get these scales. Set them to zero. Set to zero. That's the five tins. That is just on the five pounds. So I hope that helps.